Because a lot of people for weeks thought this vote might be very close. In the end, it was an absolute blowout with most, if not all, of the votes counted at this hour. The yes side wins with 70 plus percent of the votes. Governor Jim Justice has long predicted this program will generate 48,000 new jobs over the next 10 years. This is an unbelievable moment in the state of West Virginia. The absolute most historic vote in the state of West Virginia, hands down. And this will be our starting point. And we'll build on this in every way, shape, form, or fashion. This will not be the end. This will be the start and the beginning. For June to June, we, have, we came out $36 million ahead in surplus. For one month, July, we're going to report a surplus of $32.4 million. One month. Governor Jim Justice even breaking out the lays, and so did his cabinet members. They announced the state has seen a 6% increase in tax revenue from income tax, and it comes with 10 straight months of economic growth. What is justice going to do if the numbers don't come in as good? He had delays last time. What's he going to say? How do you possibly, how do you possibly come up with $32.4 million again? How could you possibly do that? But you know what? I got the lays again, guys. I want you to pass them out. Well, today, Governor Jim Justice announced revenue totals for the month of August, and once again, he says that there is reason to celebrate. The governor says the increase has happened in the last 11 months, reversing a downward trend. He says the August general revenue fund collections were 33.4 million above the estimates and 14.9% above the last fiscal year. This is the story. There's truth to, to the numbers when you look back and you say, well, where were we going to go? What were we going to do? And lo and behold, these are the numbers now. $65.8 million in two months. 65.8 million in two months above my revenue estimate that has the 58 million in it on top of the 65.8 million. I have told people over and over and over, you know, once the goodness starts, we won't even be able to stop it. You know, I told people that severance taxes would rise. I told people that this roads to prosperity thing would bring all kinds of additional jobs. Highest ever first quarter surplus, history of West Virginia, 120.5. This is the f best first quarter that West Virginia has ever had in the history of, uh, of our state. Uh, our revenue growth was 18%, and it wasn't in particular one source, it was all the sources. I'll be short, I'll be short and sweet. Nobody could love this man more than I. Except you, maybe. The employment numbers are up. The severance revenue is up. The consumer sales tax is up. And consumer confidence is up. So things are looking very good for West Virginia right now. There's so many, many possibilities. And it's right at our fingertips right now.